Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening. And today is 136, I think. Today we're going to talk about death and uncertainty. Uh, because what is there left to talk about but death and uncertainty? Everybody's running around trying to figure out what's going on, me included. So you've got one great gang of people, great gang of people running around like this, trying to figure out, are we going to be okay? Are we going to be well? Are we going to be free? Are we going to be able to carry on our lives? Um, or, you know, they're, they're trying to figure out the truth. Um, is Trump what he says? Um, are we getting salvation? Are we getting the Sarangasara? Is Charlie Ward genuine? Yada, yada, yada. They're going around trying to figure it out. Then you've got the other side that are panicking. There's a few different factors here. You've got the other side that are watching from the body's eyes. They're watching everything, everything that's going on out there. They're watching everything that's going on. They're watching new laws being implicated. They're watching more fear. They're watching the media go crazy with the lies or whatever. Just continuous, continuous bombardments. And then you've got the people, you've got the people that are believing everything and they're bowing down to everything. They're wearing their implements. They're waiting with bated breath because they feel like they've got no choice. Um, and so this is what's going on in our world. What is, re what is going on with you? I don't care about the collective anymore. Yes, I do, but I'm more interested in you as a unique individual like me, who's awaiting eviction. And I, that word is I whoosh, panic. And got no one to spend Christmas with, totally alone, who is not in any way happy to accept the conformity of a needle in any way, shape or form, and will not accept it in any way, shape or form. Okay, that's what's going on. I've got my teddy bear outfit on. You see, when I wear this, this is the teddy bear. This is the cuddly teddy bear protecting me because of the child inside or the personality, the pain body is, as I say, I'm the opposite to Anna Brown. I am giving you fear and ego and panic, loneliness, depression, rage and everything that you are not happy to confront okay i'm confronting it now on the awakening 136 i think it is whatever okay let's confront it let's feel it let's deal with it we do not know anything we don't okay let me just say something there's a book called living with uncertainty and it was written by a woman who was diagnosed. She went for a breast check and they, they more or less said that she's got cancer and she was awaiting the results. Do you remember that feeling? I remember that feeling. I remember when I was 13 years old, my period stopped. I'll never forget it. I had a blood test, right? I had a blood test. And they wouldn't give me the results because I was a child. So they gave it on the phone. I remember the doctor ringing up and saying, I want to talk to your mum or dad. And I thought I was going to die. Leukemia. That was a big one that used to come into my mind because the child at school died of leukemia. And that was the worst thing. It meant I'm going to die. I'm going to die. That's what comes in. All right. They talked to my parents. I sat there and I thought, oh my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. The fear of death has been there since around then. And I remember my, my father came off the phone and said, oh, you're okay. It's just your age. It's the stress of your exams. And it was like, I'm not going to die. Whatever that means. What does it even mean to a 13 year old? Okay. I remember another incident. We had to have our pulse taken. I remember going to a doctor and they said something, oh, I can't find your pulse. And I thought, oh, I must be dying then. I must be dying. I was about the same, probably about the same age, absolutely obsessed with the body. Well, because you're a girl and your body is changing, you're menstruating, you, you, you bleed and you think you're going to die. Never forget that one. Uh, I got my first period and then I came home. My mother whacked me across the face and, and said, you're a woman. 
fact. <laughs> That's how I was initiated into being a woman. But when I started bleeding, no one explained to me what a period was in those days. I thought I was dying. I was going to die so many times. And as I say, that time they tested my pulse. Oh my God, um, I don't know. And, and, and I'm thinking, oh my God, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? And every time I go for a blood test since then, oh my God, they're gonna find something wrong with me. I'm going to die and I'm still here. And I don't intend to die for a long time, not physically, no, you know, the, the ego is dying. The old body is dying and I'm getting younger every day and waking up and when I get the med beds, I will be 30 years younger and I'll have all my teeth back. But anyway, regardless of that, we are living in total uncertainty. Total uncertainty. We could die tomorrow. Maybe China will, will annihilate us, who knows? Everything is total uncertainty. We may not even see Christmas this year. Um, and what is Christmas to you? To me, I will have to get up and I've kind of planned it. I will go to bed probably Christmas Eve. I'll probably sing Christmas carols till about three o'clock in the morning when I'm tired. And then I'll watch something on YouTube just to bring myself back into what is really going on. Is there any way I can even find out? And, and Martin might be here. So maybe we'll do some karaoke together and lighten the load a bit because we are good friends. And, and that will go on moving on TV, Christmas Live, for any of you that don't have anything. And then he'll go, and then Christmas Day, I won't get up till about two o'clock, three o'clock, and I'll, I'll do live again, and that's it. And the, the door will be open, people can come whenever they want, and that's how I will live. Total uncertainty. Will it happen? I don't know. Will I be evicted in January, the 20th of January? I don't know, maybe. Where will I go? I don't know. Will I be on the streets? I don't know. Will I be on streets? Will they take the cats away from me? I don't know. Will I die of the cold? I don't know. <coughs> will we be nuked? I don't know. Is Trump a good guy? Yeah, 99%. Yeah, no. 1%, I don't know. 1%, I don't know. If I die, will I go to the angels? Or will, I don't know. Will I be just nothing? I don't know. Will I ever get a grant for moving on TV? I don't know. Will I survive? I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Isn't that a place to start? I don't know. Right, surrender is a big one. And if I had surrendered on that chain, if I had surrendered on that chain and not fought like mad, when I was breaking my leg in the process, of the bones being crushed by that chain. Think about it. Think about it. Because I fought. I fought that chain. Now, if I had not fought that chain and just let go, chances are I wouldn't have had such a serious fracture and I wouldn't have been in the wheelchair for four months. But I fought to get out of that chain because that's what we do. We fight. We fight. We fight. We fight, something inside fights. What happened to Jesus when he went on the cross? First thing he shouted, he screamed at God, please do not forsake me. <coughs> the throat chakra is fear, 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 and not expressing yourself with, I lay on the dentist's bed with a horrible man on top of me, a dentist, and became numb couldn't say anything. I was 11 years old. This all became blocked. And then I became a singer. Interesting, eh? And it opened. But this was closed. Anyway, what I'm saying is, we're going to do a massive chakra thing uh, on moving on TV at nine o'clock. And please join me. Uh, I don't know when this will go on. It'll probably go on after. When I can get Adobe, will Adobe work? Will the computer crash? Feel it. I feel it here, the whole of this, the whole of this. Here, the throat, the ossificus, the windpipe, the whole of this goes, uh, I'm being evicted. Oh my God, I'm being evicted. Yeah. Everything like that. 
I'm being evicted. I'm going to be in the streets with the cats in the cold. And if not, I'll go to a housing association. If I go to a housing association, they'll track and trace me and they'll vaccinate me. And, and then I'll be dead and, 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 and I'll be dead. And what happens when you're dead? I don't know what happens when I'm going to die. What happens if I die? What happens if I die? Will, will people miss me? Will people be at my funeral? Will they track and trace everywhere at my funeral? Do you think that people will even bother to come? Do you think they'll allow people to come? Do you think we'll have social distancing? What will happen? Will I will I be dead or will I be alive? Do you think that, you know, those I won't really be dead and they'll bury me alive and, and then they'll burn me and I'll be screaming because I'll be cremated and screaming and screaming and screaming and then I really will be dead. And then when I'm dead, where will I go? Will, will I go to heaven? Will I go to hell? I'm not a bad person, but hell is here. Uh, what will happen? Would they, will, will they get me? Will they not get me? Will I go back to God? Will I fly? Am I a figment of your imagination? And all this is going on, the pain body. It's all going on, the pain body. What will happen? What will happen? I'm de what is death? What isn't death? What is life? What isn't life? Oh my God, oh my God, I'll be cold. I'll be freezing. I'll be hot. What will happen? What will happen when the body goes? You know, what will happen? Will I be able to control? Will I come back again, be sex slaves? Will I come back quickly? I'll come back quickly. What if I come back quickly and they sex slave me and they SRA me and they do all these awful things to me? And oh my God, face it, face it, guys. What's going on in you? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. This is how I live. This is how I live. What if, 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 what if? No wonder I can't sing. No wonder I can't breathe. No wonder the whole of my body is a ball of tension. Look, feel it. Feel it, feel and heal. Watch this, for God's sake, I won't make it too long, so hopefully you watch it. Feel and heal, feel and heal. Where is it with you? With me, it's here. The whole of this. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't sing anymore. I can't breathe. I can't sing. I can't function. And those idiots will call me bipolar, but no, I'm ascending. I'm trying to deal with death. Everything, everything, everything. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. You feel it? You hear it? That's what's stuck here. That's why I can't sing anymore. Feel it. I can't sing the way I want to. It's taking away my voice. It's taking away my singing voice. I won't be able to. I can't sing the way I want to anymore. Feel it. So much uncertainty. Why did you give me an eviction to deal with in this lockdown? God, people don't have evictions to deal with. Who would do that? How is the world so cruel? Why is my world so cruel? Why am I so lonely? Why am I so alone? You see the ego, the pain body, the mind. Where is everybody? Where's my tribe? Why don't you invite me around for Christmas like you used to? Am I going to be completely alone? Are you going to be completely alone? What is life? What is death? Death, death, death. What would happen when I die? When I'm going, do I have to die? Don't I have to die? What happens when you die? It doesn't matter what you tell me. I need to know. I want to know. I know what love is, but what is death? In the song, There Is No Death, Leo Vidal said, if God is real, death is an illusion. So why are we so confused? But is God real? Do you know that God is real? I don't know that God is real. God is inside of me, isn't it? And all of this is going on, guys. And this is what you need to feel. Use me as a vehicle. Use me as a vehicle because it's all stuck and I can't sing the way I want to sing anymore. And fuck that. Because that's what I love. That's what I've always loved since I was a child. But I'm I want to sing. I want to sing. The body, the soul, the spirit wants to sing. A singing angel, and I can't because I'm blocked. I'm blocked everywhere. I'm blocked. All from here to here, I'm blocked. because I don't know anything.
and I could have done without an eviction. It's too much. I need distractions. The body, the pain body, the ego needs distractions. It needs hugs. The body wants to be touched. It wants to be hugged. It wants to be around people. It wants to feel warm and safe and cuddled and hugged. The body, the body, the body. It wants to be touched and hugged. The body wants to be touched and hugged. So I can't sing because the body, the body isn't getting anything. It's never touched. It's never hugged. There is no one, no one. The body wants people around here for Christmas. The ego wants people around here. I want to film. I want to do moving on TV Christmas like we did that year with Santa and everything. I'm not going to have any of that this year. I'm not going to have anything this year. Lots of you are not going to have anything this year because we are true, because we're real, because we're freer than other people. We're star seeds, we're light workers. And if anyone goes on here and gives me an unlike, it's because they're a heartless. I won't say, but it starts with a C. Heartless. They're heartless. <gasps> because you need to understand that I am a vehicle. I'm a vehicle, and I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. I'm not afraid to wake you up, but I, that body, that ego is full of fear, terrified, terrified of the whole of the Christmas. It's thinking of it as a collective of 10 days of nothing, nothing and no one, nothing and no one, nothing and no one. That's what he's thinking in the mind. Nothing, and no one, nothing, 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 nothing and no one for the whole 10 days. No one will be here. Nothing. That's how it's thinking. That's how it's thinking. Martin will be here on and off. He'll bring probably Christmas dinner, but he's got to be with his family. I don't have a family anymore. I just have the family of the star seeds that are in touch with me. That's all. And no doubt some people that I love will get together and I won't be even considered because I'm not allowed to be there. The body, the pain body, the ego, the real Lauren, you know, it doesn't seem to matter anymore. I'm doing my work. I need salvation. I need people to forgive me. I need to know, for God's sake. <laughs> That's what the ego wants. That's what the body wants. It wants forgiveness. Me, I don't need forgiveness. I know I never did anything wrong. I know the soul, the spirit can't do anything wrong. The child, the personality, the body, the body, the ego, the mind that did things because of the child, because of the ego, because of the past, because of the fear, because of the abandonment, because of the eviction, because of the lockdown, because of the loneliness, because of yada, 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 yada. Because it seems like no one cares. It really does seem that people don't love each other at all. We forgot how to love each other. We forgot we don't know how to love each other. No one knows how to love each other. You don't know how to love each other. <laughs> because you don't know how to love yourself. You don't we don't know how to love ourselves. We don't. We don't know. We were never taught. We were never taught how to love each other unconditionally. We only taught to attach to your families and your friends and your special relationships. Jesus says, no, you got to love everyone unconditionally. And we don't know how to do that. We don't know how to do that, do we? <laughs> because if we did that, no one would be evicted ever. No one. <laughs> don't try to fix this. Don't. This is part of a process. This is healing. This is my job because I'm not afraid to do it. Look, I'm real. I'm not afraid to show you the truth. This is not an act. I am terrified. The pain body and the ego is terrified of this eviction. It's bad timing. 
How can they do it? It's bad timing. And I don't want to just go anywhere. I need to be held. I need to be safe. For God's sake, I'm not purely spirit. I have this and I have a mind. For God's sake, I need some hugs. I need some touch. I, I need something over Christmas. You all do. You all need to be real. I need to be held so that this eviction isn't as scary. So I know that people are there loving me, but not giving me all these ideas that are not good for me. I know what's good for me. Don't try to fix me. Just hold me. I just want to be held. It's all. It's hold me. Hold me. Love me. Hold me physically. Love me. I can only hold myself so much on my own with this eviction. The whole of this, it's blocked. I can't sing anymore because of this. Who would evict anyone? What kind of people evict people? What is wrong with you? What kind of people evict people? Especially with a mad, crazy world that we're living in. We're not in peace, we're in war. <laughs> Who would evict people in war? Of, of course, my ancestors. The Jews were evicted. They were burnt out of their houses. <laughs> they were burnt out of their houses. I just want a home. I just want somewhere safe to live with the cats. Just me and the cats. I feel safe here because no one can come in if I don't want them to. It's private, so it's not owned by, owned by a housing association or government that can put rules on you and they can do what they want. They have to live up to their insurances. And if things get any worse, that will be a death sentence for this body. This body cannot cope with medicine. It's not strong enough. Not, I don't have enough. If I get sick physically, what's the point to be in here? I don't have anything or anyone. God, I can feel it. Can you feel the uncertainty and death looming around? Stop denying. Stop denying that death could be here now in front of us. The fear of death is here stop denying it all of you all of us that don't want this we know that we're not going to die from that because it doesn't exist whatever they're trying to tell us but our bodies our bodies are clean our bodies If these people that come out against us and fight us because we're standing up for not having that, do they not understand that our bodies don't deserve that? They're doing their best with what they have. You put all that stuff into us. Why? We don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. And I don't want to be evicted. And I want to be loved over Christmas and New Year the same as you guys will be. I want to get presents and I want hugs. And I want to give and I want, but I have no one. No one to give to, no one to get from, no one to hug, no one to touch, no one to do anything with except the computer. And that is really, really painful. And I want you to feel it, feel yours. Stop running around pretending that you know what's going to happen because you don't, not until it happens. So that's it, so you need to feel. And you can't fix it. 
So by doing this, I'm surrendering and I'm saying, I don't have a clue what I'm going to do. I don't have a clue where I'm going to live. I don't have a clue. I don't have anyone and I don't have enough money to rent. I don't have a job. Um, no one is going to give me a rental accommodation privately because I don't have a job <laughs> and they don't want cats. That's how it is now in this country. So don't tell me not to feel this. Don't you dare tell me not to feel this whoever you are, and because I need to ascend, you have to feel first. And a lot of you that are in your homes, because you know you've got your own home, no one can throw you out in the streets. Well, they can throw me out, right? And we live in a country where they really don't give a shit. They don't, they don't give a shit. The estate agents will say, well, that's where it is. We won't take animals. And if you're not earning enough, uh, then, not our problem. You're homeless. Go to the council. Yeah, I'm sure that a freedom fighter like me <laughs> is going to live under the fear. I saw the tenancy agreement. I'm not telling anybody if I have a cold or a fever. I'm a woman, for God's sake. Feel it. Don't you dare tell me not to feel this uncertainty. That's how I feel. All right. How do you feel? And the minute I stop telling you, I will not be able to sing. The minute I stop feeling here, I will not be able to sing. And that I'm not prepared to give that up. I've given up everything. Feel, where is it with you? With you, it might be headaches. It may be tummy upsets. It may be pain here, there, whatever. Or do you just distract and run around like he's off at the airport at the moment, bowing down to that lot that are earning trillions and trillions of pounds and don't even give him a Christmas bonus and every penny he earns will go to that landlord that is evicting me. Do you see what I mean? That's how it is. Oh, he's, he's going to earn another five or 10 quid so he can buy another present for his family or something. That's how you live. That's how you live, you're slaves. Slaves. I want out of this matrix and I'm coming out of this matrix, but God, am I being fought? And I didn't need an eviction. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Whoever has put me here to do this job, an eviction, was not is not acceptable at this time of the year it's not acceptable till the sun comes out in march or april or may or june even then when you live in a country where they don't want you because you have animals and you don't earn thirty thousand pounds a year now forget it i just want to settle i want my own home we all deserve that so there's the uncertainty and there's the fear and there's the panic and I have to go and do hold. Don't get too hungry, Lauren, because I haven't eaten. I've had the green juice, but I haven't eaten and that's why it's getting worse. I'm angry. I am raging and I'm not going to pick up the phone and ring someone. I am doing an awakening to teach. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to fix it because it can't be fixed. This is my way of handing it over to the awakening because I want you to use me as a vehicle. Those of you who believe in Jesus, who was tortured on a cross, crucified, you use that for your healing. He eventually surrendered. And whether, again, I don't know what's true and what isn't anymore. All I know is why I believe in here. We crucify ourselves because we have a pain body and an ego. And the more shock you've had, like me or like others, abuse, wars, whatever, all of you have been through shock. The more shock you've been through, if you've seen friends that have died or whatever, or killed themselves, so you, as, you know, some of us have been through hell and you haven't dealt with it. You haven't dealt with it. It's all been stuck down inside of you and you haven't dealt with it and you've gone to sleep. It needs to come up now. It's the ascension. It needs to come up. Everything. Bring it up. Bring it up. Throw it up. Vomit it. And feel 
Blah. Just feel it. And yet again, I'm going to say it. People didn't like it on Facebook. You disgust me, those of you that live around here and don't come to visit. You disgust me. And in this moment, I'm saying it. I don't know if you'll come and visit and give me a hug. But I'm telling you that you are just disgusting human beings. I'm not going to use the C word because someone told me that someone I know did that on Facebook because that person became real. Well, I'm real all the time. You disgust me if you don't come here for Christmas or New Year. You disgust me. You haven't been here nine months. What is the matter with you? Oh, we're so busy and we've got this. Yeah, you're busy, but you're still going to other places and doing other things. You won't come here, though, will you? Because you don't want to watch me. You don't want to see pain, real pain, real suffering, real abandonment, fear, panic and rage. Not that you see that when you come here. You get hugs and you get loved and you get dancing and singing and hair. You come here, we'll be doing hair. We'll be dancing to the age of Aquarius. But you see, this is the problem with you. You are all running around trying to fix the world. What about the poor individuals like me and other more worse off people that have nothing, not even food, are sitting there watching the lies on the media? I can feel this thinking that they're going to die from a cold, from a, a cold, right? Watching, believing the lies. And then you're watching and are you, are they lies? Is everything else lies? That what's going on? I don't know. Show me the results because I'm not seeing any. Feel it. I'm living from one day to another or one night to another because I sleep in the day, I, can't, I work in the night. <laughs> Sounds bad, but it's true. I start working at about two, three o'clock in the afternoon, maybe four, and then I don't go to bed till about five or six in the morning. And I'm losing subscribers because you're leaving. You're leaving because I, I don't know what you want from me because they're taking my subscribers because of the truth as well. That's what they do. And those of you that are not going to tell you to stay victims in your mental health issues are abusing me, breaking my car and leaving. Right? That's it for today. I am angry, I'm frightened and I'm angry and I'm surrendering it. And don't try to fix me and say, oh, you could go to a housing association. You're beautiful, caring souls and I love you. But no, that's not the answer for me, not at the moment. I am not putting myself in any danger and going to one of those places will put me in danger. All right. It's not safe at the moment to leave where I am. So please back off. I'm surrendering to a power greater than myself, which is God. Love. I don't know what God is. All I know is that sometimes I feel something helps me and other times I do get through and I have to trust that something will step up for me and the cats and something will turn up and it'll be much better than this place and one day I'll have my own home because moving on TV will thrive regardless of the C S's that won't give us lottery grants because they're so corrupt Thank you. Feel everything. Feel and heal. Welcome to the awakening. <laughs>